Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>April April showers bring me flowers I used to sing that in school oh there we are guys you're outside with me filming and see this is what I see when I'm outside filming I don't want to talk too loud it's pretty late <laughs> beautiful night guys the first night of the whole year so far even though we just started the year oh firecrackers or a bullet so you could see, I'm filming a camera with a camera. Imagine. Pretty cool. It's dark out here, guys. But that's what I see when I'm filming the moon, right? Watch the ISO adjust itself while it's on auto. And you'll understand ISO a little bit. Wait, 140, 125, 100. As I'm going off of the moon, 7280. Pretty, pretty good camera. It works very, very well. The auto ISO works well, and the adjustment seems to be working well by itself. This is the moon last night. Um, well, early morning this morning at midnight because I was out very late uh, filming it. But I got some nice stuff, so let's get in real close. zoom in to Tycho Crater, which is wow. Did you see how much of an axis the shift for the moon and earth is right now? Look beside Tycho Crater, because Tycho Crater is on the bottom of the moon. Now it's going west. Look at what's passing all along and right even over top of Tycho Crater. There's even a line or corridor going over Tycho. I'm not only showing them on craters that are unknown, it's very popular graders. Look carefully at the bottom and around Tycho. Look at all the details as we zoom in close. It is a clear night and I did get some nice shots and there'll be more coming. This is, like I said, you guys know what I do is I work the footage. It's raw footage so I can go back and redo it and change the angles. We can look at other craters and zoom into other craters um, to get the most that we can. So there, we're pretty close. Tycho, always hard to see, right? Just a, a white lump. 
supposedly very old, but one of the youngest craters, and they say that that's why it's white. Um, did you see the square that was there that I had the uh, circle up on too? There's a lot of objects on the surface that leave us to believe that they could even be constructed. The colors on the surface of the moon are exceptional. Seen with this telescope, and <laughs> I I laugh so hard because the trolls, do you see this blue spot there? It's the surface, my friends. Many colorful areas. And NASA said it themselves. Everyone said it. That's what the point that I'm trying to prove. There's a lot of color on the surface. Imagine still fighting over Silly little issues like that. Well, it's out of the bag. There's colors on the surface of the moon. This is Eratosthenes crater. More colors and clearly you can see hazes and smokes around most of the craters. But look inside of the Apennine Mountains. More lines going across the Apennine Mountains. These are all details. Hey, guys, sorry to, I'm changing subjects here. The Apennine Mountains, it's just ten or 12,000 feet underneath the height of Mount Everest, guys. And now look, look what you're seeing. It's not very high off the surface, is it? Here's Copernicus Crater. So parallax and foreshortening, that's what happens depending on where you are. In the States, you take a picture of Copernicus Crater. I'll take a picture of Copernicus Crater. Hawaii will take a picture of Copernicus Crater. You get the point. It's always going to be... Um, not distorted, different, meaning it could look more um, opaque, more um, squished down, leaning, uh, elongated, because we're getting a foreshortening view because of the parallax, which is um, just a different perspective. That's all it is, an optical illusion. I'm telling you what information is out there, and that's what they're saying. In reality, we're just seeing some of the craters look like they're lying down instead of being high off the surface. And that's why I use the Terminator line because that Terminator line really shows us um, the elevation. So I would say along the Terminator line without confirming anything that the parallax is seen less. And so is, <laughs> so is the foreshortening.
fire.